This LOS is convert a company's reported financial statements from LIFO to FIFO for purposes of comparison. So now we're going to look at the formulas when we're adjusting from LIFO to FIFO when the prices are rising. So remember, if we look at our inventory T account, uh, when we're using FIFO, it's the first in, first out. If prices are rising, what's going to be left in our inventory? It's going to be our inventory at our most recent purchase, and that's going to be at the higher price, okay? So therefore, our inventory under the FIFO method is higher than under the LIFO method. Last in, first out, the more expensive inventory, last in, first out is gone. So what's left behind under um, LIFO is, as we recall, it's our older inventory at the lower price, so it's gonna be cheaper. So our inventory under FIFO method is gonna be the LIFO plus the LIFO uh, reserve. Inventory under the LIFO method plus the LIFO reserve. We get information on the LIFO reserve in the notes to the financial statements, okay? So recall that uh, first in, first out, so the inventory prices are rising, the inventory at the lower price is gonna be going out first, so our cost of goods sold under the FIFO method is gonna be less. So we're gonna do cost of goods sold under the LIFO method minus the increase in the LIFO reserve. So we have to look at the change in that reserve. The reserve is increasing when prices are increasing and units are being added. So we're gonna, to calculate the cost of goods sold under the FIFO, it's cost of goods sold under the LIFO minus the increase in the reserve, the change in the reserve, okay? So cost of goods sold is, um, is less, so our net income is gonna be higher under the FIFO method. So we can see our net income under the FIFO is net income under the LIFO plus the increase in the reserve. So it's the same number, but it's gonna be times one minus the tax rate because it's after tax, net income is after tax. So that's fairly easy to understand. And then we need to look at our retained earnings. Our retained earnings are going to be higher. If our net income is higher, it's gonna be higher. So it's our retained earnings under the LIFO method, plus the entire LIFO reserve, not the change or the increase, times one minus the tax rate, okay? So we've seen the same chart now a couple of times, and again, it's just this conversion of LIFO to FIFO when the prices are rising. Again, uh, FIFO, when prices are rising, you're gonna have the lower cost of goods sold. So here's the formula that you need to adjust, the cost of goods sold. Uh, if we have lower cost of goods sold, we're gonna have higher net income. Here's the formula that you need. It's the uh, net income under the LIFO method plus the increase in the LIFO reserve times one minus the tax rate. Again, we also have to adjust our retained earnings and our inventory. Our inventory is easy. It's uh, higher under FIFO. So it's the inventory of the LIFO method plus the entire reserve, okay? And our retained earnings is gonna be the uh, retained earnings under the LIFO method plus the entire LIFO reserve times one minus the tax rate. So we've seen this chart before. We, uh, again, we're just reinforcing it uh, over and over. So let's do a practice question to check our understanding. Assume US GAAP generally accepted accounting pr principles applies unless uh, otherwise noted. A company uses the LIFO inventory method, but most of the other companies in the same industry use FIFO. Which of the following best describes one of the adjustments that would make the company's financial statements to compare it with companies in the industry? The amount reported for the company's ending inventory should be A, increased by the ending balance in its LIFO reserve, B, decreased by the ending balance in its LIFO reserve, or C, increased by the change in its LIFO reserve for that period. Okay, just remember the FIFO inventory is gonna equal the LIFO inventory plus the LIFO reserve, okay? And you can see here what they've done. That's important because sometimes they like to play with the wording uh, in questions. And I always say my tip, my exam tip is always write out the formula you know and then read how things are being uh, given to you because sometimes they flip it. And you can see here, I just wanted to show you that because the LIFO reserve, for example, uh, just using a bit of uh, algebra is gonna equal the FIFO inventory minus the LIFO inventory, or the FIFO inventory equals the LIFO inventory plus the LIFO reserve, okay? So the correct answer is A, uh, adding the ending balance in the LIFO reserve to the LIFO inventory would equal the ending balance for inventory on a LIFO basis. Assume US GAAP generally accepted accounting principles unless otherwise applies. 
Well, it has to be US GAAP because remember folks, LIFO is not allowed under IFRS. So any of these LIFO to FIFO questions, it's always assuming US GAAP. I just wanted to point that out as a quick reminder. Anyhow, a company using the LIFO inventory method reports a LIFO reserve at year end of 85,000, which is 20,000 lower than the prior year. If the company has used FIFO instead of LIFO in that year, the company's financial statements would have reported A, a lower cost of goods sold, but a higher inventory balance, B, a higher cost of goods sold, but a lower inventory balance, or C, both a higher cost of goods sold and a higher inventory balance. Okay, I like this question. The correct answer is C. Uh, you have to see here that the reserve was lower. So that's the LIFO liquidation that we were talking about, okay? So normally, if prices are rising, we know that we adjust the cost of goods sold uh, for FIFO using the cost of goods sold, the LIFO method, minus the increase in the LIFO reserve, and that was the change. Here, the change is 20,000, okay? But it's a decrease. So as I said, you have to add it. So it's the cost of goods sold under the LIFO method plus the decrease in the LIFO reserve. So uh, it cannot be A, it's not a lower cost of goods sold, so that is out, okay? So we know that it's a, a higher cost of goods sold for sure. But then we're looking at the inventory, okay? Uh, remember, there is still a reserve at the year end of 85,000. It's just, the reserve is still there, it's just gone down, okay? But the reserve is still there. So remember, inventory under the FIFO method equals inventory under the LIFO plus the LIFO reserve. That reserve is still there, okay, 85K. So the inventory is still gonna be higher. So it's not a lower inventory balance. The correct answer is C, okay? Another quick question. Assume US GAAP, generally accepted accounting principles, applies unless otherwise noted. The year-end balance in a company's LIFO reserve are 56.8 million in the company's financial statements for both 2007 and 2008, so there was no change. For 2008, the measure that will most likely be the same regardless of whether the company uses the LIFO or the FIFO inventory method is A, the inventory turnover, B, the gross profit margin, or C, the amount of working capital. Okay, this question actually isn't that difficult because remember, uh, to adjust the cost of goods sold from uh, LIFO to FIFO, we're going to do the LIFO cost of goods sold uh, minus the change in the reserve, but there was no change in the reserve, so the cost of goods sold is going to be the same. So sales minus cost of goods sold equals gross profit, so the gross profit margin is going to be the same. Okay, so that should be an easy one uh, to answer. Now the inventory turnover, remember, assets equals liabilities plus equity. It still has the life for reserve, so the inventory under the FIFO is going to be higher, okay? So uh, it's not going to have the same inventory because we still don't have the same assets. Al although the reserve didn't change, we still have the reserve there, and uh, the ass so the assets are going to be different. If the assets are different, the inventory turnover is different, and the amount of working capital is going to be different. So a fairly easy question, actually. Uh, with The more you practice, the easier these get. And finally, one last practice question to end this LOS. An analyst is evaluating the balance sheet of a U.S. company that uses last in, first out, LIFO accounting for inventory. The analyst collects the following data. Inventory reported on the balance sheet. At the end of 2005, 500,000. At the end of 2006, 600,000. The LIFO reserve, end of 2005, 50,000. End of 2006, 70,000. The average tax rate is 30%. After adjusting the amounts to convert to first in, first out, FIFO method, inventory at, at the end of December 2006 would be closest to A, 600,000, B, 620,000, or C, 670,000. Well, I hope by now you're finding this question to be fairly easy. So the inventory under the FIFO method is the inventory under the LIFO method plus the entire reserve. It's not the change in the reserve. So it's simply the 600,000 plus the 70,000, which is 670,000. So the correct answer is C. Uh, notice in this question, they put 2005 here and 2006 here. Sometimes they put, uh, uh, in some of the questions, they might put 06 here and 05 there. And I've mentioned that before, keep your eyes open. Because if someone is uh, not looking very closely and working too quickly, they might think, oh, you know, um, the, the reserve went down. It's not. It went up uh, because 05 is on the left-hand side and 06 is on the right-hand side. So that's just the one little thing. Other than that, I think this question should be fairly easy. Inventory into the FIFO equals inventory into the LIFO 
plus the reserve. And we didn't need the tax rate. That is if that's red herring information. We needed that if we were going to, if the question was asking about the retained earnings um, or the net income under the both um, LIFO and FIFO. Okay, so that's the last slide for this LOS. Thank you.